Hey guys, what's up in this video? I'm going to do the full review of the CROM Android 4.4.4 KitKat um, for the Google Nexus 5. So, as you can see, so I am currently using the AICB ROM. Um, that's my main ROM because of the ODA updates. You know, I get the ODA updates like almost like two days and after two days. And they are very quickly updating their ROMs, and now I have a version 6.0 on AICP. So, um, but still, I'm trying out a lot of stuff over here. So, here we have the C ROM. It's pretty popular. I also done a review on the Galaxy S2. Uh, you can check out my channel. So, it feels pretty smooth, and it actually feels more smoother than my AICP ROM that I previously used. And as you can see, it's extremely smooth, and of course we don't get the uh, Google camera over here so for that you, you need to install it from Play Store so let's check it out here settings and about phone and it's CROM as you can see the bill number it will unlock the developer options then we also do have here 4.4.4 CROM at KitKat so let's see the built-in options over here the specific options on the ROM here so uh, first of all some basic settings like Wi-Fi Bluetooth and stuff like that then we have the C tool now on C tool we have a bunch of different options we have C ROM uh, over the air meaning if we get any uh, OTA updates like if uh, if you are for example if you're using version 1 and there's some update then we get the uh, update over the air just like is a software update, normal software update. And also we have here some interface options. You can change some uh, power menu options over here. Then we change the recent styles over here. You can have some cross buttons and um, you, know, you can use the slim recents, whatever you can check out. Um, also we have shake events. Then we have LCD density. You can change that of course, uh, you know, if you want to mess it up because Nexus 5 has good um, LCD density settings, you know, basically these settings uh, are for some older devices, you know, if some apps and games are not compatible, you know, for that reason. So, status bar, we have some battery icon options, you can change it to um, different kind of icons here, like circle. Now we have the circle on the top. Also, you can change the battery color to red. And as you can see now, I have red. So, some cool options here. And also, we do have here some notification drawer options. You can have some background style, um, custom carrier label. Let's see, I can enter my name. It's so my custom carrier label. Let's see. It will apply. Also, a bunch of different options here. You can also change uh, the, uh, the, 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 the background style over here. You can also change uh, the uh, background transparency. You can also change the ba default background. You can add custom image. For example, let's say if we have this image over here of me doing hammer test of the Expressly 2 example okay save this let's see if we have here the option or not so let's check it out like this transparency you can set to different values you can check out you can change the default background whatever you want like this one over here You know, a bunch of different settings you can check out. Um, let's also move down here to the lock screen. We do have here different options: style, clock widget, um, battery status. You can check out a ton of stuff here. You can enable it, then it will give you um, battery, some battery percentages uh, options on the lock screen. As you can see now, uh, on the lock screen icon, I have the battery percentage, and that's a good neat feature there. And also we do have here some interface option again. And then we have some buttons. You can set some custom buttons, some custom things there. Then you also change the notification peak, uh, which will give you some notifications on the screen. Um, 
ton of different options and we have the active display also we have here some widgets um, you know extremely good options then we also have the navigation navigations we have these options then on the hardware buttons uh, we also have some custom actions you can have uh, like holding this button will do this stuff you can have it you can set it and also we do have the Pi control I already enable it as you can see they work pretty good and of course uh, I'm not a fan of Pi controls I usually use Pi controls on my uh, Galaxy S2 devices with uh, the uh, power, uh, with the um, home button physical home button so usually you don't have to use Pi control with an XS5 because it has already built in good touch buttons so on screen touch buttons also have some sidebar app options then we also we have some mixed tab options um, some battery saver mode which is extremely good and um, also then we have the system app remover uh, here you can remove any system app if you want um, you know any system app you want of course we don't get any kind of blogware with this ROM so uh, there's no option to removing the system apps and also we do have here the omni switch you will have it will act and replace your current recent um, you know recent options so of course we do have here as you can see that's the image that I set before uh, as you can see on the notification area so um, basically you can set it uh, right away because you can add any custom image you want you can add any uh, you know transparency option and as you can see now it's showing me my name here and that's how those option works um, also we can have a lot of custom toggles here and you know enable a lot of custom toggles from the settings um, but here the default ones we have the uh, owner information Wi-Fi then we have the, some default stuff um, we have the brightness with the settings uh, some carrier information then we have the charging information and also on the top we have some date information so um, also in terms of uh, the uh, Wi-Fi performance, Bluetooth, the NSC, everything works extremely great. No, um, no, no performance issues there. Uh, all the basic stuff works. You know, basically when you install a Nexus 5, you know, when you install custom ROMs on Nexus 5, every basic stuff will work. So, uh, yes, uh, do like this video if you enjoyed, and also uh, be sure to click the subscribe button down below uh, for more feature, uh, future. Uh, ROM review so I'll see you next one peace out and always uh, if you want to know how to install it on your Nexus 5 uh, you can visit the link in the description I have a full tutorial of how to install CROM and do it for 4.4.4 on your Nexus 5 so